Well, let's hope it doesn't fucking do that again. You're rather pissing me off now. What do you want? Right, so now we are off to find the hollow or whatever it was. I believe, anyways, weren't we? Greetings. Yes, let's find Hazak's hollow. Sprint! What are you sprint? Room. Nice. No, I wasn't walking. <laughs> Dear me. Buggy fucking game. No, I'm just a bit annoyed now, but, I, but it is a very good game, and I am definitely. Definitely looking forward to its release. Come to Skuma. Gari swore vengeance upon the smugglers responsible. This one tried to stop him from going by himself, but Gari wouldn't listen. Yes, that's Gari. Please, you must find him. Tulana heard many things in Mistral. Hazak leads the Skuma peddlers within a nearby cove. Its entrance is on the beach across from Cat's Eye Key. A vile Skuma peddler. Hazek destroys families and brings great warriors woe with his filth. Gari hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Dulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy. And they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? He hurt his back in a terrible accident. He took skuma oh, to relieve back. the pain, and it came to both sustain and enslave him. After years of its youth, he withered to a shell of his former self.
And I'm back and I could quit up but I'm not going to because I'm lazy as shit right now. Um So we're looking for a cave entrance because we need to go and kick this motherfucker's ass. Cause he's a dickweed. So my pleasure, let's fuck this bro up man. But um, that's the thing. What about with the new pants picked up? Oh, for God's legs, medium armor. And I am actually wanting to go for the medium armor sort of look. So you know something, medium armor. Look at that. It's what we call sweet man. Say that same. No. Good. I think she do. Some bastards been. Take her like. Has actually. Oh, I hope. Join Hazak. Mother sent you? It is good she can't see me trussed up like a sheep. Uh, the bandits were more challenging than I expected. <laughs> I killed a few when she scouted the cave, but no, I must always be tested. You thought for a poor mewling widow? Ha! Mother is not entirely what she sees. <laughs> what she a bitch. To wait and watch before approaching Hazak's hollow. I sought to avenge my father's memory, but was captured by bandits. Mother saw my capture and sent you here to assist. Next, you untie me and we kill Hazak for his crimes. Simple, you see? Hmm. Then when you free me, I'll fight Hazak alone and will likely die. Hazak will poison more families with skooma, another will swear revenge, be captured <laughs> by bandits, and oh, wait well. for death in this cave. Make me feel guilty, or bastard. we can kill Hazak. Still simple, yes? Good. Now, untie my bonds so we can look for the key to Hazak's lair. Swish slash pop, done. I can hardly believe it. I'm free. I'm fucking on you. Locked. Must be a key around here somewhere. Yeah, but Dick stands good up there. He wasn't. Hmm. I 
Sí, es con eso. Oh, I've done that. But there must be a key, right? I don't know where at, but apparently you do. No. Oh. Okay. Follow the others. Derp, derp, derp. Right, let's go and kill Hazak. And search barrel and some grapes to make wine. Alright, well here we are. Um Pork Super City. You already have that one, but we'll say that on. Um, Obviously, you got a bit of alchemy shit going on there, like. Kari. I understand. You don't have the wind for this. But I do come. I don't know how Mother will take this. You weakling. Apologies for the lapse. Our supplier grew suspicious. Sorry. Don't fret over much. The appropriate uh, mouths will be fed. We required your wayward bird. It's better to be in a foul storm, but we think it can be saved. If it's not in your hands by the next full moon, we are discovered and you should cease correspondence. You don't have the will for this, but I do. What the fuck? What happened? I was in the middle of the with there, and Alesh said, Though we have overthrown the wicked elves, we fear that this will afflict us with oblivion. For ever did they traffic with the Deirdre Lords to our sorrow and misery. Mighty are we in arms, but the greater demons are beyond our strength. But the divine voice speaks further, saying, This will I do, this will I do for the mortals of Nern. As thou art dragonborn, so must be their heirs, thy heirs. So long as they keep the dragon fires ever lit, so long must the demon lords keep to their palaces. Alash, my place is even. Oh, oh, up. Alash was grateful yet still troubled. How then, and if my line should fall, how will we defend ourselves? And there was a trembling in the world, but the divine voice was mild, saying, Thy people go find a way, for unlike the Daedra, ye mortals have the creative spark and may make new things that were not before. Where there is one defence, there may also be. Nothing else, apparently. <laughs> oh, where we do today's lesson is about the leathers and the tennis used by the Clawlails when making medium armour. Oh, the cloth I'm guessing that means. As you have noticed while hiding from the night watch in your family's armoury, medium leathers come in many kinds, for example, brigantes. Brigantines are hard and studded while running leathers are tough but flexible. These different styles are achieved by the use of different hides and tannins. Tannins. Oh. Tannins are the tempers used by the crafter to balance hardness to resiliency. In medium armor, a leather chest piece can be treated to be as rigid as broad as a board, able to turn an assassin's knife. But if it's too rigid, the wearer is unable to turn his or other body. Thus, armor is used in tannins on leathers and fabrics to strike a balance between stiffness and flexibility. What does this have to do with the look of the resulting armor set? If you only you had asked that question at lesson rather than daydreaming about impressing the scullery maid with the wisp of a moustache, it has everything to do with it, as you'll see for yourself. Now get to work on curing those hides your father bought as samples, and don't let me see you making eyes at the scullery maid until you're done. Okay. Oh, this is my arms. That's obviously glitched. Oh, fuck it. 
Пога. Out. Well, yeah, apparently the keyboard's not working now. I don't need my mouse. Well, nobody was it's working. What the fuck is going on here? Like, all right, I'll be right back. Here we are. We are back, and I'm telling you now that I will not be recording much more for this beta because I'm just getting really annoyed. Plus, I've got to take my daughter to school tomorrow, and the beta will be over. But I've still got to have an early night because of that. So yes, we will be recording much more. But you know, I'm, I hope we've done well. We've recorded a bit of footage, and I'm um, just. So I've got a feel what the game is like, and is it worth buying? Yes, definitely, definitely worth buying, without a doubt. What have you done? Um, well, huh? Then you have done what I could not. My husband now rests with the ancestors, free of the Skuma enslaving him. What? Uh, ah! It's all fucking mind twisted and fuck with it. Weird bitch. When Hazek embraced Skuma with more affection than he did with me, I gave him every chance to claw his way back. But Skuma peddlers are slavers of the mind itself. When Hazek turned his addiction into enterprise, there was no return. Poisoned arrows to stun, a blade to finish. I spoke to each as they lay frozen on the dock, before adding crescent moons to their throats. These unclawed shaveskins had it coming for pulling Kari's father into their fold. I noted the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. That is help, yes? But I would know. How did my son fare against Hazak? Did he fight bravely as he was taught? Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on his own. He shows me he is ready. With time and training, he will honor his ancestors. Ajir Trajijazeri. Huh. We justly take by force. At Two Moons Dance, we study the thin line between justice and vengeance. We train so we will always know the difference. Enjoy your life, Walker. You never know when those you love can slip away. I don't love anybody, so you're all right. You did what mother could not. Yes, yeah, so we had what I knew to be right. Definitely to restore our family's honor. Fucking right, that's you well better. Proven worthy of our name. Do you understand? Now we look yes, fucking mean ass. But yeah, as I was saying, is definitely is it worth buying? Definitely, definitely worth buying. Um, is there bugs and glitches? Oh, fucking hell yes, and that's what's irritating me at the minute. But apart from the constant freezing when you're trying to either loot something or leave a conversation, it's actually been all right. So yeah. Ah, yep, yeah, definitely buy it, people. And I think it's absolutely phenomenal, MMO. So, yeah. That's my opinion on the matter, anyways. What's this? What does that look like? Yeah, I think we'll stick with what we were wearing. Or maybe not, apparently. Where's it gone? Where the fuck is it, man? Because my pants better. Where are we going anyways? 
talk to us first. We're going back to the town, so we're totally going the wrong way. Go for the swim across the river. Like, I know I haven't recorded much. I mean, I've had to go and the other characters and stuff like that as well. But I haven't been recording for the um, YouTube channel, but I do have a very busy like life. I've had a lot of parties with my friends. I've had parties and birthdays this week. Weekend and um, but yeah, my cousin even had two parties this weekend. Go figure for his birthday. So I had to go up both of them. Uh, along with trying to keep up with the training I've been doing and stuff like that. So yeah, so I've been very very busy. Along with working, obviously. So I've put the f I've put in work, like, the work that I can. And it's going to have to be enough for now, but at least I've got some nice footage. All Hello. HD, full graphics, so yeah, not bad, not bad. I think this game is graphically absolutely wonderful for an MMO. Hasn't even got any competition. Well, I mean, a Final Fantasy looks quite nice, like, what I say. But um, this is so, this is sublime graphics for an MMO. I mean, look at that. Put, uh, my personal opinion puts Guild Wars 2 and all them other ones to shame. Otro, Star Wars, Guild Wars 2, all them. Got a fucking note on this graphics wise. And so far, gameplay and story mode wise, uh, this is absolutely way better than any of them. Mind you, I do like Star Wars 1 quite a lot. The story's great on that. But this is definitely Elder Scrolls-esque, if not exactly like a Elder Scrolls game per se. But it's an absolutely fantastic role-playing game in itself, and it's definitely worth buying. We should have cleansed this. Lork and take them all. Why did the Sylvanar negotiate with these filthy Maomer? Those pirates are a stick in the High Elf eye. They capture our merchant ships and raid our settlements. If I had any say, we'd negotiate with a sword at their throats. <laughs> Not as long as the Sylvanar confuses diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go, see this farce for yourself. Oh well. Oh, would indeed. Hello there. Fuck off. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Kanathi's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It seems we have a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Kanathi's Roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondil and Headwoman Harani? Exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tune. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved, though I fear the Dominion presence binds her hands. But I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Right. It's hard to keep track of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistro. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him. The mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations. And this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow High Elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. 
By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our truce. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. Watch your tongue. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for it. I won't allow High Elf Warfrats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why don't you bother Harani for her copy? Hmm. Well, I think we're going to leave it there because it's just froze again. But thank you for joining me. I know we've seen a bit of the beta and I know it's had some rough times with this freezing malarkey. But I fucking love this game so much and I just hope on release that this glitchy problem is fixed. Because I love the game. It's really good. Absolutely phenomenal. Worth all your money. Just buy a thousand copies of it right now. Just, just, just go and take out a credit card, loans, mortgage. Just take a mortgage and buy a thousand copies just for yourself because you can. It's how good and it's worth it. So yeah. This was Skelgore. Take care. Ciao for now. Bye.